Catholic school. You credit Catholic school with making you funny. Do you think that's true? Absolutely. Did you go to Catholic school? I went to regular public school, but then I would have uh, one day a week I had to go to Catholic school. Uh -huh. So, uh, but I went to Catholic school for nine years, and um, the nuns. At the, when I went to Catholic school, I mean, you read, you read today, you read the newspapers or online that people, they, they, the nuns are, let's just say, harsh. And uh, if a nun hits a kid now, they get sued. Right. The parents sue them. I went to school. If a nun hit me, and I went home, and went, mom, mom, sister hit me, she'd be like, you probably deserved it. Whack, you know. Right. It's uh, <laughs> the Italian way to raise people. Yeah. And uh, so I learned at an early age, if I could make the nun laugh. Half, she wouldn't hit me. Oh. So yeah, so, yeah. Because yeah, they can be. I mean, the old stereotype is based somewhat in reality. They could they could be quite strict. I was lucky. Mine. They actually they wore the whole nun outfit. The wimple. The wimple. But they were. No one was ever hitting us with a ruler. But I have plenty of friends who got hit with a ruler on the hand when they did something. I figure that there's really only there's only three nuns, and they do it with mirrors. It's uh, <laughs> there's the there's the really there's always that really young nun who always is the music teacher, uh -huh. right? We call yeah. her sister Dominica Nica Nica. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she knows absolutely nothing about music, but she can play a zither, right, you know, right. like, which is always <laughs> nice. And then, of course, there's that really really, really old nun. Like every school has that really, really old nun. Yes. Like old, old nun. Right. We had Sister Melissa. Um, she was so old, she was a topless waitress at the Last Supper. Right? Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> no, she was that's like, just, that doesn't sound right It's to like me. she was. <laughs> and then of course the last nun would be the, uh, the, big butch, the big butch nun, the big butch dyke nun. Every school has, you can always, you always know them because they're the ones that take a man's name. Right. You know what I mean? Like mine was, you'd be like Sister John Richard, you know, right. sister like that. Right. I had a nun called Sister Richard Marine. Right. I mean, like in the halls of Montezuma yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Marine. She was six foot tall. She weighed about 395 pounds. She looked like Dick Butkus in a wimple. And uh, mustache. Yeah. 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 I mean, terrible. Full mustache. All the other kids were afraid of her, but I thought she was kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's when you learn. <laughs> So you said that you could uh, sometimes, you, but you could sometimes make them happy, right? You could sometimes please Oh, yeah. Please I, uh, actually, this is the old nun that I was telling you about, Sister Melissa. She was my English teacher. And one day, I love this story. I'm sorry I have to tell it. One day she asked me, uh, asked the entire class to write a poem. And I couldn't be bothered. So I went home. And uh, I was just, you know, bored. So remember A Horse With No Name? The song, A Horse With No Name. Yeah, been through the desert on a horse, horse with no name. name yeah. Right, well, that, I loved that song, and I thought, I'm bored. So I just wrote down the lyrics to A Horse With No Name and turned it in as my poem. <laughs> and the next that's pretty bold, because that's a very famous song. I mean, that's... Yeah, but she was a 150-million-year-old nun. <laughs> you know. Good. You know, so she, she was, didn't... So she was just thinking... She was still thinking about that brat Da Vinci that she taught once. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I turned, so I turned it in, and the next day, she was handing our papers back and talking about how some of the people were better than other people, and some of these papers are good, and some of these papers are good, but we have one person in the class, one person, who really poured her soul out. <laughs> you guessed it. Leah Delaria, come to the front of the class and read your poem. <laughs> yeah. So she didn't know, and she loved it. And she loved it, and she made me go in front of a room of 30 kids who obviously all listened to the radio. Right. And I started to read, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It, it felt, felt good, good to be out of the room. <laughs> so of course the class starts laughing, and this is the best part. She starts screaming at him for laughing at me. What's wrong with you children? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Please open your heart. She's open her heart. You're laughing at her, you heathens! You're going to hell, you're going to hell! Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos.